afternoon. It's a couple of days since we had the misfiring issue. I've not done anything to the car uh, yesterday, didn't look at it. It was VE Day celebrations. We had a bit of a socially distanced street party. So um, yeah, just thought I'd have a quick look now. It's not a great deal I can do anyway, because I, I don't possess feeler gauges and I really don't know what I'm doing with them anyway. So I'm just gonna flip the distributor cap off have a general look at the leads and see if there's anything I've disturbed and then we'll see how it goes. So the first good news so far is the uh, suspension hasn't dropped but then again it was a week or so in between being done and dropping the first time so but there's no uh, you know there's no obvious signs that there's anything amiss at the moment. Just noticed I've got a bit of a, a water leak or something. There's a little wet, you can see where my finger is there, a little wet patch. And there's evidence that it's been collecting on the tray. So keep my eye on that. The expansion bottle's at the correct level. I can't see it's something that's just been sitting there. It's been a couple of days since I drove the car. Maybe it's tracking down that wire. From, but where from, I don't know. Hmm, strange. It's probably very difficult for you to see this, but feeling around the uh, hoses, it's it's wet on the bottom of this one here. Um, I did have this off when I drained the radiator, so obviously it can be running down there and finding the low point. I'm just going to have a check of this and nip it up. Although I think it's fairly tight. Could just be that the pipe's perished, I guess. Definitely wet there, you can probably, I don't know if you can see on my finger, that one. It's around the bottom of this hose. The uh, water thing may have been my issue. I just, on that one there, I got a good two or three rotations complete on that screw and the same on the bottom one there. So maybe I didn't nip them up as, th as much as I thought. Just to keep my eye on it. There you go. For those of you asking if it's still running points, I guess there's your answer. It's the first time I took the cap off. Uh, the condenser looks fairly new. I mean, I'm no expert, but it's certainly very shiny. So the uh, tip of the rotor arm doesn't look burnt or anything. Looks fairly good to me. As I say, I don't really know what I'm looking at. I'm trying to sound clever. Inside the distributor cap looks clean enough. I'm just giving it a quick wipe out, but um, as I say, there's nothing I can really do without feeler gauges anyway. And even if I had them, I don't know what I'm doing with them. I can't really check anything on the <coughs> on the points. The leads are all on tight, but the coil one. Um, I've just took the cap off and as I say I sprayed all this with WD-40 you can actually you probably can't see but I can see when I'm shaking that drips of uh, stuff coming out if you can't see that it's a shame because there's, there's there's plenty coming out I'm wondering whether I just soaked it to death and and that caused the issue certainly very wet with WD-40 in there uh, if you, I don't know if you, I really don't know if you can see this, but uh, I've just flipped the cap off. Um, you see how wet the interior of the uh, King lead is. I mean, I thought WD-40 was uh, a good thing, but I don't know. Right, apologies for not keep filming this. I don't want to get the big tripod out just to fart about, really. I've, um... Pulled all the leads off and just checked them. And other than the king lead being very wet, I've dried it all off and I've rooted them all so they're all pointing slightly downhill. Now, just in case any remnants want to drip out, um, I've took the vacuum pipe off and just checked it for leaks and checked it wasn't blocked. And um, yeah. I suppose the only thing I can really do, I don't really want to, I've got a spare coil, but I don't really want to change the coil 
um, because if it runs perfectly now it's cold and doesn't do it again I'm putting a coil on that I don't know that is any good either so I think the only thing I can do until I actually get someone to look at it with feeler gauges and, and you know whatever is just run it and see what we've got just see how she starts from cold I appreciate it's a hot day but um, let's just see Choke off already, that's why it's a bit hesitant. Well, I'll try a different camera angle. Um, just gonna go for a run and see if it still misfires. If it does, I'll have to get somebody to look at it. seems okay at the moment but we're not under load at all I'm going downhill um, so wait till we get a clear bit of road and see what we can do would be nice if it was just the uh, WD-40 the other day and interfered with it Um, something like 23 degrees today at the moment and then tomorrow it's going to be like 10 or something hard to imagine doesn't seem to be hesitating up this little incline seems fine at the moment um, fingers crossed really know what you'll be able to see on this camera angle I just thought I'd try a different angle um, when I was filming with it up here behind the mirror which is my preferred position I like it there in my Land Rover as well it's uh, shaking like mad in this car and it's really irritating to watch so should I do more stuff like this I'll get a better camera mount at the minute it's just a mobile phone mount so yeah, I'm just going to see what it what it looks like now on the back really. It's on the uh, back passenger side window, just behind the B pillar at the moment. Um, so yeah, see what the road view looks like when I edit this together. Because what will be happening, I'm just going to film this whole trip and then edit out the bits where I'm not talking or where it's a bit boring. The trouble is, by me, there's not really a great deal of places to go. I don't want to go on the uh, motorway just yet. Good times. Nowhere better than England on a day like today. The lovely greenery and sunshine. But man, when it's rainy and grim, I can leave it. fairly lucky I suppose having such few subscribers on my channel that I'm not going to get too many bitchy comments on oh you're doing far too many unnecessary journeys <coughs> this is true I agree 
but I'm fucking stir crazy, man. to appreciate how comfortable it is with the new suspension. Um, I saw a post on um, one of the forums the other day where some guy pumped his suspension up and said there was nothing wrong with it. But I'd love to actually go in one that's high but not been regassed because it's 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 really really smooth. It's just, it's quite amazing how comfortable the ride is. And I expect it's very harsh if it's just on fluid. This fuel gauge just doesn't seem to move. I don't know how many miles I've done in it since I've had it. Not millions, you know. I bet I'm close to 50 already. I'm going to have to edit this video to death. I'm already at about 17 minutes. I've just had a quick walk around. Right more and more getting used to the brakes on it. Um, they're not terrible. I think, I think uh, a lot of it... You've, you've obviously got to read the road a lot more than you do in a modern car. Well, I think the pads were maybe a bit shiny. It certainly seems to have loosened up a bit. So I've probably done a longer journey now than I did after Ian had had a go in it the other day. Um, I suspect I've been driving for about 20 minutes now. And uh, I've ended up back in the area where I first started um, yeah, where I first started noticing that the misfire was getting worse. It was around this bend here I think I first mentioned on the video. Um, so unless it's a um, one of those strange things that's just going to happen when it feels like it. I can only assume it's cleared itself. I'll never know until it happens again or I'm on a longer journey. But, um, all seems well.
we're just going to see if it uh, if it runs on. I expect it will, even though the uh, the drive out was perfect. It was running on before um, when I turned it off after Ian drove it anyway. So when when you saw on the last video it ran on, that's because I knew it was going to do that anyway. So I'm going to turn the key off now, and it didn't run on. <laughs> well, that proves me wrong then. Crazy quirks and four boils of an Allegro. So, there you go. Um, test run completed, ran perfectly. Can only assume either something had worked loose that I've put back on, or there was just a bit of crap in the fuel, the WD-40 in the King lead was interfering with something, or it's gonna be one of them where next time I go out in it, it does it again. It's just gonna be a, a case of keeping on top of the car and see what happens. So hopefully I'll get a, a short video out of this lot that I've done today. Um, obviously you've got to edit the drive down a bit because I just left it filming. Um, so yeah, catch you later.